Hello, I'm Jia Wenzhang from National Taiwan Normal University. Typical hybrid rendering uses restoration to render. It executes ray tracing only when ray hits a mirror. Hybrid rendering can produce an image with low noise in small amount of time, but the global illumination is missing in the output. Pace guiding is a good method to get smooth images, but the biggest challenge of pace guiding is how to quickly find and learn many important directions. So, we use rasterization to maximize the performance of the GPU. First, we divide the space evenly into voxels. Each voxel has a guiding cache that can be visualized as a sphere. We will update the weight of each area while learning. Second, we build the guiding caches using reflective shadow maps to learn direct lighting and learned indirect lighting and acoustics with voxel cone tracing. For example, voxel A learns direct lighting, voxel C learns water caustics, voxel D learns caustics of the sphere and the indirect lighting. Our pace tracing starts from the eye point with a maximum depth 20. Each vertex of the eye path also connects to a randomly selected light. Now, we show the real-time demo. First, let's run a small scene. Left window doesn't use pace guiding. It just samples by 100% BSDF. Right window uses pace guiding. It samples by 50% BSDF and 50% pace guiding. Look at the torus. You can see that. Pace guiding can find caustics quickly in the same frame. And look at the console information. It just takes about 6 million seconds to build the guiding cache. So, our method can also work on dynamic things. Then, let's run a more complex thing. Left window doesn't use pace guiding. Right window uses pace guiding. Please look at the words. You can see that pace guiding is good for direct lighting and indirect lighting. Now we move the eye position. This ends our demo. Thanks for watching.